And be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Narcs hate they love me. Narcs hate they love me on TikTok. Narcs HTLM on Instagram. Also, I have a new group up there on Facebook. And I have to give credit, credit to H.C. Maxwell. He's one of the admins in the group, fellow admin in the group. All right, I appreciate you for uh, the conversations that we have on the side. And also a lot of your insight. Man, this guy here, he has a lot of insight. If you pay attention, when it comes to the empath, he has lot a lot of knowledge even i'm learning from him i'm learning from him y'all all right i'm learning from him uh i had an interesting conversation from a fellow mod over in the group narcissist anonymous 101 on yesterday all right all right a fellow mod and this is what i wanted to say right that conversation uh what the, the 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 question was and this is where i had a, a, a this is where we disagreed is why did you come up with a name that was so closely affiliated it's almost like a spin-off from narcissist anonymous 101 right and 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 do you feel like people will uh think that you're still affiliated with what's going on in 101 and my answer to that question is i don't give a fuck uh what people think i'm affiliated with see i don't give a fuck what people think i'm affiliated with the only thing i give a fuck about is my mind or my emotions my thoughts my will and my purpose Because it's my world. So I don't give a fuck about what people think that I'm affiliated with. People that ask me about 101 and they want me and, and this other person to be affiliated. And you think that it's beef there and you come questioning me about 101. I don't have anything to give to you other than that was a part of my journey. That was a part of my purpose. I served my purpose there in that group. I did more than enough there in that group to help everybody. I brought insight. I brought clarification. I didn't charge everybody. I did freebies all the time. I was under a whole bunch of posts giving more clarification and insight and motivation. See, when I wake up and I, I wake up every day, look, if I gave a fuck about what people thought, I wouldn't have accomplished my goal today. My goal was to hit four miles. I woke up at five, five o'clock this morning, got myself together. At 530, I was on my way to this track. If I gave a fuck about people, my mama say, don't go out there this early. The sun ain't even out yet. 
If I gave a fuck about what people thought, I would not have accomplished my goal this morning. Even when I'm on the track, I carry this big gallon of water in my car. And I drink right out the gallon jug. Most people say, oh, that's unladylike. I don't give a fuck. It's about what I think. That's what matters in my world. See, when I was talking about the narcissist and I was calling the motherfucker big, dumb, stupid, damn narcissist, everybody was into what I was saying. I couldn't get a view to save my life. But it wasn't no balance there because I was on one extreme. I was just on the narc's ass. On the narc's ass. Then I started getting on empath ass. Yeah, I started getting on empath asses. Calling them out on the bullshit. Yeah, I used to call them out on the bullshit. So I got me some motherfucking balance. I got some balance then. And I went to bashing them and bashing them and bashing them. Fuck an empath. I kept saying it. Fuck an empath. Is this what y'all call empathic or are you codependent? Or are you a codependent empath? So you would have had to have the knowledge to, to, to pinpoint just what the fuck you are. But I was saying, fuck an empath. Fuck, 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 fuck him in that ass. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck about it. Fuck, fuck, fuck him. And I have my reasons for saying that. But my post on yesterday, when I was saying your reputation uh, is the cover of your book. Because when people come to you, see, it's a difference. When the people come to you, some people looking at what you say and some looking at what you do. So some look at what you say and they already have instilled in their mind what they're going to pay attention to the message that they want to receive from you some people look at what you do and you don't have to say much so my reputation over in 101 that's a that's a part of my journey that i'm not trying to hide i had a purpose in in in, in 101 just like this fellow ma you had a purpose in 101 most people that are still there, right there today, they have a purpose in 101. I can't define what their purpose is. I can only look at what I'm doing, right? My teacher, one of my teachers told me, look, keep your eyes on your own paper. Don't look at everybody else's paper. When you taking that test, you taking that test. Don't look at everybody else's paper. Keep your eyes on your paper. When you got that money in the bank, don't look at everybody else's paper, the money that they bring it in and how they do it. No, keep your eyes on that, on your paper. I got people that like me because I cuss. Yeah, this Ma here was telling me, you got to change. You know, we got to work on our delivery. I'm not working on no motherfucking delivery. I got people around me that love the fact that I cuss. Yeah, they love to listen to me. It's going to be people that gravitate toward me because I cuss. It's going to be people that gravitate away from me because I cuss. You think I'm going to spend my time, my mind, my energy, affect my will and my purpose based off of trying to please people? I can't please people every day, all day, all the time. Fuck people. I done said this before. Fuck people. I don't give a fuck about people. The reason I don't give a fuck about people is because a lot of these people don't give a fuck about themselves. And the ones that do give a fuck about themselves, they're going to get my message. And they're going to get where it is they have to go. The ones that uh, are, are looking at just what I say and not what I do. They coming to me with drama. They coming, they coming to me with a mind made up. They coming from a place of judgment, which is why I said your reputation is the cover of your book. It gave me anxiety to have that conversation yesterday. It gave me anxiety. Since when did we start caring what people think? That's that codependent shit. People pleasing. That's that codependent shit. Fight, flight, fun, freeze. I don't give a fuck about what nobody think about me. They not going to die with me. 
They not going to speak up for me when I die. I'm going to have to speak up for me. The question came up in the conversation too. Well, what if Hario thinks that it's a spin off or whatever from what he doing? I don't give a fuck about what Hario thinks. I don't have no bitter feelings toward him. I'm not worried about what he thinks because, again, my mind is what matters. My will, my thoughts, and my emotions are what, that's what matters. I don't give a fuck about people. People have to give a fuck about themselves. People don't get paid to think, and I don't get paid to think about what people think. I'm standing out here on truth. If you stand out here on truth, stand on it. It's going to be a lot of people that disagree. You can do everything wrong, they're going to disagree. You do everything right, they're going to disagree. It's going to always be somebody that's going to have something to say. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I'm here to grow. I'm here to prosper. One on one play a a a a, a hell of a, a a role in my life, right? It did. That group did. I hated to leave, but I had to go. I got to go. I got to go to far better, far greater, because this group here is designed to keep me down to this vibration that I'd have graduated from years and years and years ago. And I'm trying to get people to see what I see, but they can't see what I see because they don't do the work that I do. No, they don't watch what they put in their bodies. They not working out. They not putting that water in their bodies. They not sitting down and having real life conversations with themselves. They don't worry about basic life skills. They not worried about manage, management of emotions, management of time, finances. They not worried about all of that. They only want to sit down and think about the narc and what the narc did. That's why I don't give a fuck about what Harry O think. He can only think about the narc and what the narc did. The narc, the narc, the narc. You narc me half the motherfucking death. I don't even know if I even, if I want to live. That's how the average motherfucker think if they sit up there and listen to that shit for five or six years straight. So I don't give a fuck about people. My reputation, what I've done, is the cover of my book. This is what I've done. This is what I'm doing. I have a vision here. I have a purpose here. And it's not like just because everybody talking about narcissism, it doesn't mean that everybody has a similar purpose. Look at fuck about people. I don't. And that's what a lot of y'all gonna have to learn. A lot of people gonna have to learn. Don't give a fuck about people. When it come down to yourself, you gonna put people before you. Now I'm on here being real. I'm on here spreading truth. I don't have time to sit up here and cater to everybody else and their feelings and emotions and things online. Fuck all that. Get this truth. Get this knowledge. Grow. Go on. Be something. Have something. Keep something. If you don't know how to deal with basic life and you don't have these life skills, you ain't going to be able to keep nothing. You ain't going to be able to sustain over long periods of time. Your reputation is the cover of your book. Fuck people. It's not people's book. Your reputation is the cover of people's book. No, it's the cover of my book. All right? My group on, on Facebook is Narcissist Anonymous 202, The Fight Within Me. All right? I give all the credit to H.C. Maxwell again. All of my supporters, y'all, have no idea how much this means to me that you're saying, look, I helped get you through. I had some bad days, had some bad times to where I was walking dead. I was walking dead and you thought the straight truth, straight facts. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. I'm glad you were able to get the message. Never mind me cussing. Look, I cuss all day. I do what deems, I do what I do. I know how to stay in my lane and do what I do.
there 5 30 this morning i was up i was at the house 5 30 if i gave a fuck about what people thought my mama always say all the time don't go work out in the sun had come up that's dangerous don't go do that if i gave a fuck about what she said i wouldn't even accomplish my goal today y'all that's an airplane airplane passing over my head airplane passing over my head but there it is sorry about that but if i gave a fuck about what her opinion is to when i get up and work out i would not have accomplished my goal before the day started you see why i don't give a fuck about people and what they think no no i don't i carry a big gallon of water with me when i work out in my car and i drink straight out the jug It'll be people that look at me that that drink. I look at me drink straight out the jug, and the first thing they say that's unladylike. You think I give a fuck about being unladylike? Unladylike? No, I'm well hydrated. The only thing that matters is what's going on in my world. All right, that's it. And I watch who I bring into my world. Because people have these different energies around them and within them, these spirits within them. I don't need no, I don't need all that. This my world here. And I isolate out of moderation. Alright. I hope that made sense to you. But no, I don't give a fuck about people. I hope that y'all take that away. Don't give a fuck about people. Put yourself first. You've been putting everybody else first for the longest. Put yourself first. Put your own self, your wants, your needs, your time. Put you first. Fuck people. People are consume your time, your mind, your energy, and affect your will and emotions. And they still are go on and be stupid. And do it. Do the same shit. Affect, affect a person, a different person in the same way that they done negatively affected you. Alright? I'm narc say they love me. I leave you with peace. I leave you with love. And you have all the power in the world. Alright? Come get with us. Narcissist Anonymous 202. The fight within me. Peace. Love you. Bow. Take care.